Hello everybody, hope you are doing well. Well, today we are going to be implementing the post view, which is this view. So, without much talk, let's start coding. And this is where we left in the last video. So, let's start implementing our post view. Uh, the first thing, of course, will be as you can see, it's a V stack. So. Let's implement a V stack. Let's give it an alignment of dot leading. Okay, and uh, here we got an A stack as you can see. So let's add an A stack. Okay, uh, the first one as you can see it's an image. So make an image let's call it profile pic later of course when we integrate the firebase and when we implement our view model it won't be this one but for now let's give it image image of profile pic let's make it resizable scale to fill and let's give it a frame with a a width and a height of 40 okay and let's give it a clip shape dot clip shape of circle okay i think it's beautiful uh, okay now we need to add this one and as you can see it's a v stack so let's create a v stack we will give it an alignment of dot leading, a spacing of zero. Uh, we will create a text. We will call it Omar family. You are free to call it whatever you want. For now, we will call it this way. We will give it a font and it will be dot system with a size of 14 and the weight of dot semi bold okay beautiful uh, this on then we will have this one so it will be an a stack so a stack and it will be text and let's give this a stack a spacing of five spacing of five and then it will be text uh, let me check what's the text okay 1d d then we will have a circle and i will give it a frame with width and height of two for both okay beautiful and the last one let me check okay it's image system name globe image image system name and it will be globe okay beautiful i think uh, now we will give it a font of dot sorry dot system with size of 12 and we will also give it a foreground style of facebook blue I think beautiful maybe the one thing this one this one is bold compared to this one so to this circle we will give it a font weight of dot bold okay after the v stack as you can see we got this one it's a knee stack so after our v stack we will have a spacer then we will have an a stack with a sp spacing of 24 and then we will got image of uh, the first one let me check yes it's ellipses ellipses it will be dot resizable Or for now let's make it just ellipses ok 
okay and the second one is okay i made a mistake because it's not ellipses it's system name of ellipses okay and the second one each image with system name of uh, x mark okay beautiful uh, we will give it dot foreground style of color of dark dark gray okay beautiful and uh, we will also give it a font weight of dot bolt dot bolt okay perfect just uh, we need uh, not this one but to the entire a stack let's give it dot padding of dot horizontal okay perfect i think it's beautiful the app is starting to look really really beautiful now we will add this one it's a text so after this one we'll have text and it's called uh, time to party with uh, with the team or whatever okay and after that uh, let's give it a dot padding of dot horizontal and then we will have image and we will take from our asset office okay and image office will be resizable and okay and um, while we are at here, as you can see, it's not scrollable for now. And in our app, it's scrollable. Uh, I forgot uh, to add here a scroll view. So in my VStack, let's embed inside another VStack and just call it uh, scroll view. So now, beautiful. Now it's scrollable at least okay, for the image office. Let's give it scale to fill. Okay, perfect. I think uh, it's beautiful. The app is starting to really, really cool, look nice. Okay, the next one is this uh, one. It's a Nesta clearly. So let's create uh, a Nesta. Uh, let's give it a spacing of. Now let's say free. Okay, uh, what's the name? Okay, this one it's image uh, like it's from my assets folder. I will make it resizable and I will give it a frame with width and height of 18 for both. Okay, beautiful. Uh, now I will add this one. A text of five text of five beautiful and for the entire a stack let's give it dot padding of dot horizontal okay perfect uh, let me check what's left okay we got this one and that one also so uh, First, let's give it also dot font of dot system with size of 12. And let's also give it a foreground style of Facebook blue. Okay, perfect. Now we go here and it's clearly a spacer. Then we write three commands. So spacer, then text comments okay at, if there is no uppercase okay and then we got text uh, let's say two chairs okay and before this I have a text and it will be now you click on CMD control and space in the same time, you will have this one, choose this one. 
and you got uh, the stackest for some reason is uh, too big I, I don't want it this way so let's think what did I choose let's try this one okay this one is perfect I think it's beautiful okay and maybe I will give it for this one dot font weight of dot bold okay I think it's perfect I really like it okay uh, now we will before it I will have a divider so here we will have a divider and we will give it dot background and uh, for dot background it will be dot white with an opacity of 0 0.5 let me check okay beautiful uh, now we got to add this one it's clearly an a stack so let's add an a stack it will be a spacer and another spacer and between these two spacer we got uh, an a stack where we got this button so an a stack and for the image uh, just uh, let me shake its hand dot thumbs up okay it will be system name and hand uh, dot thumbs up beautiful and uh, the text will be like at least that's what I think yes like maybe with uppercase okay we will take this one and copy and paste it a few times three times exactly first time second time and third time the second one it's called comment command and for the text it will be message beautiful for the third one if, uh, let me check it's sent and the fourth one it's share okay and for the fourth one it will be okay let me check it's oro shape it's a hard name to remember dot turn dot up and dot right it's from sf symbol of course and for the last one it's not uh, from sf symbol it's from our asset folders and it's called uh, icon messenger noir it's French uh, if you are asking what's this language okay dot resizable and I will give it a frame with width and height of 20 and hopefully everything will be perfect uh, for my entire a stack we will give it a font with dot system size of 12 Okay, beautiful and of course a foreground style of uh, Facebook blue okay, perfect uh, I think it's beautiful and then uh, of course we will have a divider view with width and as you can see the divider view is not on the width of the screen there is a little bit of padding so we will make it proxy dot size dot dot width minus 15 and of course it's by default in the center a uh, beautiful what we got now to do is uh, as you know I don't like to have all this code here so this v stack I will make extract sub view I will refactor 
and rename it uh, post view and for post view as you can see we got facebook blue we need so we will have private var what's the name facebook blue of type color and we will add the initializer of facebook blue and here we will add the argument and give him facebook blue and now hopefully everything will be working perfectly okay well let's wait for it let's wait okay perfect beautiful the way you expect it to be working if i add let's say for each let's add this way for each and zero three let's say Okay, and we will have post view. Okay, we will have, as you can see, free posts. It's beautiful, it's perfect the way we want it. And uh, now for this component, we will take it and place it inside component. It, and if some of you are asking why inside component, it's because, for example, if we go to the profile, uh, as you can see we got also posts we will use this same post view that's why it will be inside component there are people who choose to place it inside feed but uh, to be honest when a view uh, is used for many by many folders because feeds and the feed folder and the profile folder are different uh, i like to place it inside components but of course uh, if you prefer to place it inside feed that's up to you Okay, let's create uh, a new file, Swift UI view, let's call it post view. Okay, and let's go to our post view now here. Let's cut this code. And here we will paste it and hopefully everything will be working perfectly okay he asked for facebook blue so let's pass it let's pass this color which is this one to our preview here let's pass the color and hopefully now everything will be working perfectly Okay, let's wait for it and perfect everything is working fine if we go to our main tab view hopefully as you can see everything is perfect our app is starting to look really nice so that's it for today's video in the next video i don't know it's it's either we start uh, the profile screen i don't know i will check either i start the profile screen or maybe this one to create a post or i add the models and the view models anyway i will decide later which one will be the next video but in the meantime as always please like subscribe stay safe stay healthy and see you in the next video bye bye